Mars is now retrograde and after some days, so today is uh, 7th of November morning when I'm recording this video and 14th approx November he will be stationary and then he will go direct. So roughly around from uh, 15, 16, 17, 18 you can start feeling the results of Mars getting direct again. Okay, so I have seen uh, it's 45 days of retrogression and we have already uh, crossed around 35 uh, 35 days i would say 37 days i would say so last seven days are still remaining and i thought i will not make a video on this but then i have been seeing the different course of events that have been taking place in my life in the life of my friends and relatives and also the world in general so you can see there's a lot of chaos and there's a lot of mayhem which is going on not in the name of uh, coronavirus but the many other issues you know these uh, <clears throat> you would be well aware if you would see the news so therefore um, i always feel that the transit of Mars is very important when it comes to uh, social issues like you know agitation uh, and all these things because Mars is the planet of anger you know when there's anger there's you know there's frustration and sometimes there's mayhem there's chaos because it's a tamasic planet now uh, our Acharya has explained that anger need not be necessarily bad always anger can be good if used for the right reasons for the right purposes but um, most of the time we see in this material world that people are not elevated to that extent so that they can use anger for the right purposes so most of the times people end up using anger for selfish purposes for wrong purposes for their own interests which they might sometimes um, pretend to or even uh, themselves think that uh, we are trying to align with the society or some higher purpose in life okay. <clears throat> so therefore i have seen the transit of mars is very important when it comes to uh, issues where there are troubles with the government uh, there are problems with army and uh, even in so many places you know in uh, you know, even in india you know, china this border conflict is going on in us also the election thing is going on and there are violent protests and so many other things are going on actually okay so <clears throat> therefore the thing is that now mars is in pisces and very soon after he goes direct he will enter aries again so this entire retrogression of mars uh, the retrogression is about two months and from one sign back and then again back and forth and going to the next sign now this is a period of almost six months actually okay so this six months is a period of turmoil just a second yeah so this uh, retrogression total span uh, pans around for six months roughly and sometimes it can hover uh, to the previous sign like it has happened this time so generally uh, in retrogression it happens okay the planet goes and slows down and gets stationary two months for mars and then the retrogression is two months and again then two months it needs to go to the next sign but in this case it not only was uh, uh, retrograde, but it also went to Pisces. But even then, uh, the time span is always roughly around six months. Okay, so therefore, even in this case, uh, now Mars will enter Aries okay, after some days. So therefore, um, when Mars enters Aries, this is a very good opportunity for us to uh, really capitalize on the issues that we really wanted to work on so what happened was i have i had seen in my life uh, and so many others also in the world that when mars was in aries there are so many things which we started it kicked off with a lot of energy because mars is the multicorn uh, aries is the multicorn sign of mars is very powerful there is very strong there but then as he went retrograde it was still fine but the moment he entered pisces there was like mayhem all around so uh, therefore when mars entered pisces long time back you would have felt that time that okay uh, because see pisces the sign of pisces is a very unique sign uh, it is the sign which is ruled by jupiter and it is the sign where venus gets exalted okay? 
and it's also the sign where mercury gets debilitated so now on this this pisces has very peculiar energies you know and it's the original 12th sign and shani maharaj is the karaka for the 12th house so pisces is a very peculiar sign where these extreme energies are there you know jupiter is you know optimism saturn is pessimism jupiter is uh, you know um thinking saturn is reality and then venus is enjoyment mercury is reality it's the uh, it's the cost that you need to pay to enjoy something okay so when you go for shopping people say shopping is under mercury venus why because for shopping you need money and then when you shop then you feel happy right not necessarily always most most of the times so that's what is venus okay so uh, therefore uh, this pisces energy for mars can be very uh, very challenging sometimes or it can be very good depending on how you use it so if you are running um, the mahadasha or antardasha of jupiter and uh, or mars okay, jupiter or mars then it's uh, it is imperative that you do meditation and you uh, take a lot of uh, steps for your inner well being and um during this time uh, your uh, nervous system could undergo some kind of a breakdown okay uh, by that i don't mean you will necessarily have panic attacks but um, there are two parts of the you know autonomic nervous system the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system so when mars uh, goes haywire then i have seen the sympathetic nervous system which adapts to stress you know like different physical mental stress um, that gets Uh, that gets hyped actually so therefore to balance it you need the parasympathetic nervous system so therefore it is highly crucial that we do meditation chant mantras in the morning and this is really very crucial because otherwise if the uh, we do not artificially uh, hype the parasympathetic nervous system which also uh, gets activated when we sleep properly okay then we will be dominated by the sympathetic nervous system then we are always in this hyper mode you know i want this i want this you know what only what this should have happened that should have happened okay so that's very detrimental for our life actually okay now it is good to have that but when that gets beyond or uh, beyond what it should be then it it gets trouble and if you are having thyroid issues yes then that also could aggravate okay either the high, either in the higher end or in the lower end okay so therefore um and if you have blood sugar issues then also or especially blood sugar okay the blood pressure sorry blood sugar and blood pressure especially blood pressure these things could go for a ride okay and uh, therefore uh, it is it is important that we utilize this energy properly in some areas like you know physical work doing yoga doing surya namaskar doing pranayama or hitting the gym or you could also go for long walks you know. uh aerobic exercises are very good where you need a lot of oxygen they will really help you okay so just walking half an hour 45 minutes a day that 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 will really help you and then to whatever extent we can uh, we can we can ensure that in the morning we take a cold water bath water bath and in the night we take a warm water bath okay so these are some of the things which you can do and uh, also make sure you not watch the news all the time because Uh, nowadays if you see the news uh, in india especially i do not watch news uh, because um, all the channels they are either you know uh, they are supporting the bjp or they are supporting the congress or the left you know so it's like there's hardly any news channel in india uh, which actually gives you news okay un um, unadulterated news there are uh, there are a few channels in youtube and there are places where you can find but i am saying overall in the mainstream it's very 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 it's almost negligible okay and even in the us you know you can see this election thing is going on now and the results are not yet out and whoever supports trump you know they are saying that this election was fraud this happened that happened and the supporters of joe biden they are saying oh you lost the election that is why you are saying like this now would you say this if you would have won the election so the thing is uh whoever wins or whoever loses you know we will definitely lose our mind if we keep watching all this okay so therefore have an eye on what's going on in the world but understand that uh, in kali yuga 
in these mundane materialistic societies and circles, you will really find the truth. Okay. And when I say truth, I don't mean something, you know, like Illuminati or, you know, this or that, some secret society, you know, some secret stuff going on, something like that. I don't mean that kind of a truth, but even in general, some basic simple things also we do not find in Kali Yuga. Yes. So, for example, if uh, in Kali Yuga, if there, there is a person, if two people had a fight in India, let's take an example. So, <clears throat> so suppose the uh, one person uh, slapped the other person. Okay. So, in India, what will happen? In the channels which are in the right wing, uh, they will say, you know, uh, or sorry, who are in the left wing, they will say, oh, a Hindu slapped a Muslim. They will say like this. Right, and if uh, Muslims are doing something, then the right wing channels will say, "Oh, you know, Muslim Muslims are doing like this. You know, they are they are like this. They are like that." So, the fact of the matter may might have been that they were just two people, and they were just having some quarrel, just having some fight. It it had nothing to do uh, with this fact that they were believers of the Quran or the Bhagavad Gita. It had nothing to do with this. But the news channel will always do this. They will play this game game card of religion or whatever okay and why do i bring religion into this because jupiter is the lord of pisces do not forget so therefore um, do not get into this mode of you know judging people or by you know, judging incidences not people i would say by judging incidences on the on the basis of religion or even on the basis of gender i have seen sometimes you know oops sorry again for the interruption so yeah, that, that is what I'm saying. In any basis, uh, whichever you say, whichever way you want to go, but the media is biased. Okay, so therefore, this transit of Mars might aggravate your mind to see, oh, Hindus and Muslims are fighting, you know, uh, this community is fighting with that community. Okay, and that might cause a lot of agitation. You might go on fighting in social media. And people are all already set with their opinions. A person who is from this category will never accept what this category, the other category has to say. And there is no consensus. Okay? Because Kali Yuga means headlessness. People do not know how to have, um, they, they don't know how to disagree. You know, they think if you disagree with somebody, you know, then that, so people think that if you disagree with me, then you are my enemy. They think like, so like, so, Therefore, it's uh, very difficult that these days you find some scenario where you know you could agree to disagree. <laughs> All right, and that and that 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 is where Mars transit becomes very crucial because sometimes Mars can have this headless headless thinking because it's a tamasic planet. Mars needs a good guide; it needs a good mentor like Jupiter. Okay, therefore, Jupiter Mars combination is considered to be good. Why? Because then this anger, this passion, this frustration, this headlessness of Mars is being uh, guided by this great planet of wisdom known as Guru, Jupiter. All right. So the best thing you could do is uh, when you are facing this nervous energy, this nervous tension, this breakdown, then you can always take shelter of your Gurus, your Shiksha Gurus, your Diksha Guru, or your mentors, whichever area, you know, health, or, astrology, career, spirituality, whichever, whichever area it is, all right? And by that, you will be able to go through this transit and just do not think what you're seeing in the news is the truth, okay? Truth may be some, something else, but they, these media houses have their own set of agendas, okay? They will only show you what they want you to feel, feel okay? Not what you should feel, what they want you to feel, all right? That will be all from my side. Thank you very much for your patience. And if you want a consultation from me, please go to my website down below and some other videos on Mars. I'll put it here. All right. What is there with you? All the time, just look at him and you'll find him.